Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nipperson. What is good, YouTube? Your boy Bill Nipperson is back with another quick video. And today we got the Drake Hot Step Triple Black in the building. And I wanted to take a look at this shoe on the Bill Nipperson channel for the first time because I've never gotten a chance to do it. Uh, in the past, I think I did the uh, hoodie, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, Knock This Gear. Of course, I got the actual turtleneck version or the shirt version, but I've never really gotten to the shoe because it was kind of rumored or it was displayed in Drake's, I want to say, Laugh, Now, Cry Later video that debuted back in 2020. Of course, Drake's been seen with uh, various different stars in that music video, but it was shown, or at least filmed at the Nike Beaverton location. So you got a chance to kind of see the, the gym, um, the store, things like that, that's such in Beavertown. Um, of course, that's when we also got a chance to see a glimpse of his signature shoe with Nike because previously he was with Jordan doing some OVO collaborations that, you know, actually went pretty good. So I guess he wanted to challenge himself with his team to see if they could kind of bring back to life a shoe that... Mm, I want to say that debuted back in 1997, and that was the Air Terra Hamars. Now, one of the reasons why I think it's either 97 or 98, if I'm not mistaken, but one of the reasons why I think that this took a step back, because around that time, the I want to say it was the phone posits, phone boxes and the Air Max 97s. When those shoes released, I think it kind of overshadowed the whole Terra Hamara release. So for him to take, well, at least for his team to take the shoe and make it kind of futuristic, at least while keeping the midsole and the outsole intact, but kind of giving the futuristic upper, look, that's creativity. And I get what he's trying to do. Um, how he chose to actually get that particular shoe, I think, I don't know if he wanted, his team wanted to challenge themselves to see if they could market something that, again, a shoe that we've never really took interest in even back then. But, you know, kind of took interest now due to the fact that it's not really a, it's not known to be an everyday shoe. It's kind of like a hiking type running shoe uh, for rugged, you know, terrains and stuff like that. So but we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, let's just get into the box itself. You can see right here, we've got Nocta logo printed right there. This is a size 13 for your boy. And of course, you got the Nocta logo on the other side. But without that said and done, now let's get straight into the box because your boy has to see this. I felt like this shoe was an easy style, and I mean easy style to wear, because triple black, you can't get any wrong with that. Oh, man, this, this looks good. This looks good. And I will say this. I did get a chance to put these bad boys on, and I will say for most people that's wearing these shoes for the first time, it's not going to feel plush on the upper, but it's one of those shoes to where the more you wear it, the more comfortable it will feel. Trust me, that G-Tech technology that you see on the outsole, engineered in the shoe itself, it's one of those shoes where you can wear or you'll feel comfortable wearing, you know, whatever the rugged areas are. You you don't have to worry about you know, damaging the outsole. Uh, of course, it has those gel pods, which are soft, kind of like in the middle towards the blue portion. Of course, it's a little bit harder as you get towards the black portion of the outsole. It's designed that way just for heavy, I'm going to say trails. But of course, you do see that G-Tech. AWR technology on the bottom because it is within the midsole and of course you got that exposed air unit on both sides of the shoe and I like what they did because when you look at this version to me it's a futuristic version of the shoe at least the upper again the bottom towards the outsole and the midsole they kind of kept as close as possible to the OG uh, Terra Hamara that you can see right here but of course I like personal touches that they did with this. Of course, they did keep the Nike swooshes, if I'm not mistaken. That's on the medial side. Uh, you can see that it does feature six Nike swooshes uh, towards there, but it also does on the actual OG, so they at least kept that intact. And, of course, you got the Nike swooshes that sit right here. I'm not sure if this is – I want to say this is kind of plasticish, metalish, but no, nah, this is – this is plastic. Well, let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> so we got the Nike swoosh that sits on the toe box. And of course, you do have it on both the lateral side of this side of the shoe and, of course, this side of the shoe. And if, well, you look on the back, I like the fact that they put these logos, the G-Tech logos that sits aside towards the heel. And I want to call like these are like rubberized. 
it looks like it, it looks like metal, but there is type of reflection on it. So you can kind of see yourself. If you look in it, you can see a reflection of yourself. So it definitely has that reflection on it. Now, the 3M is actually kind of different on here. You can see the 3M hits slowly, if you look at it carefully, on the upper. So those little rivets that you see on the shoe in between, kind of like right here, and you'll see a still picture of the shoe itself with the 3M lighting, or the, actually the lighting showing the 3M, and then another picture kind of side by side showing what it looks like on a regular, but you can see the difference there. And of course, towards the liners where the, the laces are, that is also 3M. I didn't really know that, but again, you'll see it's still a picture with a side by side right there as well. And of course, on the tongue itself, it does have the Nocta logo, right? And it looks like on the outsole, actually the outsole, the insole, I should say, has not the logo, and I'll have a picture kind of right here showing the side by side, but it looks like a sky blue Nocta design with the sky blue inside colorway. And I think it's going to be kind of like that for most of his releases. When I say his, I mean Drake's or Nike's releases, that collaboration, because there's supposed to be a university gold that's supposed to come out this year, supposedly. Supposedly. It hasn't been, there's no confirmed date from Nike just yet. Hopefully they do, because that kind of looks kind of dope as well. So the only difference is it looks like the triple black, but on the heel, on the accents, and I think on the tongue itself, this is just all university gold. It looks, it's a beautiful shoe, but this I had to get on the Milton Nippers channel. I know they had a triple white version, but you know me when it comes to mostly white shoes, high maintenance, your boy just can't do that. So, you know. I had to go triple black. I definitely had to go triple black. The one thing I will say about this before we do the on feet is that when you go to the traction towards the pads, because this is designed to grip, and I mean it really does grip the floor, it picks up a lot of dust. And you'll see a still video, actually still a picture, but you'll see a motion video uh, of what it looks like, kind of when you enhance and you'll see how much dust it can attract. So I can tell you right now, after multiple wears, this is going to get dirty, but it's firm grip will keep you comfortable as you're walking to terrains and stuff like that. So hey, that's the added bonus. And of course, last but not least, you can't forget that premium leather. And when I say that this is premium, this is soft. This is definitely soft. And for the price point, I felt like that it was definitely fair to have it marked. I think it was 180, if I'm not mistaken. But listen, look, look let me show you something real quick before we do this on feet. Look at this. Look at this. Is there anything on there? Look, look at this. Look how soft. Oh, man, this is nice. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. But your boy, no never said, comment below. Let me know what you think of the Drake Hot Step Triple Black because, quite frankly, your boy can wear this with anything. He can wear this with his Enter the A of Basic Hoodie. Of course, this is the black hoodie. For those that didn't know, uh, look, click the link in the description. You'll get 10% off by using my code Millie Milk if you like it. And of course, when I'll be doing the on feet, you'll be seeing the pants as well that goes with this hoodie but your boy my never said man i am out drake's time nike Whew. this triple black hot step yes it's it's a it's a definitely a-okay in, in my various different uh collaborations in terms of videos and stuff like that that i've done in the past and i will say this before i do the on feed as well that sadly this is my last video <laughs> At least with the Apple Watch. This is my Series 3 watch that I've been doing for the past, I want to say, three or four years. Doing these YouTube videos, sharing everything with you guys in terms of the review. But this will be the last video because your boy has upgraded to a newer version. That will be seen on future videos actually kind of soon. So, your boy, Mona Vincent, man, now I'm out. Let's do that on feed for the Drake Hot Step Triple Black. And you guys, stay blessed. Oh.